Small block Chevy in the 300ZX. What's going on guys? This is Nick from Budget Build Garage and today we're going to introduce you to our next project car. Um, things are going pretty well on the El Camino, things are going really well on the Mustang. They're both kind of just sitting waiting for new wheels and tires. So we're getting ready to start work on the Camaro and we have another project for you. This project is going to be really, really budget build. Um, Taylor and I were talking and we were kind of talking about the El Camino, there's less than 4,000 bucks into the Camaro total, including buying it. But the thing with that is we built it over a long period of time. It's not the same as somebody that needs to get to work that day and needs to spend money and needs to have the car reliable immediately. So that's the thing. Four grand over a whole year is not that much money necessarily, but what if you're the guy that can only afford one car? What if you're in college? What if you're just a dude that has no money? What if your budget's only about $1,200 and you need a reliable car that is also cool and that was the hard part. So, Taylor went out and got rid of his car. He actually gave it to his sister because she needed a car and he went looking for a cool car for under $1,200. He's gonna show you that car in a second. The important thing to remember about this build is everything we do is to make the car reliable and cool. We're not looking for big power, we're looking for a cool car that you can drive every single day. So anything we do to this car will need to be done within one, to two days, kind of like if you got off work on Friday, work on the car, have it done Saturday night, maybe Sunday in emergency, and you get to work on Monday. Now, Taylor's gonna show you what we got. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Budget Build Garage, and today we're gonna be talking about my brand new 1985 300ZX. Nick and I, Nick being very helpful, uh, have been searching on Craigslist uh, for myself for a new car. I've been driving around a hoopty. So I just decided to get myself a cooler hoopty, and uh, we stumbled upon this thing. Um, drove down to LA, pick it up. The guy said, oh, it's got a new starter and it's got a new battery, so it's all good. So I figured, you know what, that seems reasonable. And uh, so I drove it home. And you know what, it drove pretty fine. Uh, the, the, the digitalized dash flickers on and off, so you know, you don't know how much fuel or how fast you're going or anything like that. Just cherry. But it's like you don't really need to know that. It, over the last few days that I've been driving, it's had some issues. Um, we thought the battery died, the battery didn't die. The starter seemed to be ticking. So uh, yeah, you just jiggle it a couple times and uh, it starts right up. So that's kind of like the daily thing. Um, so the starter probably could use a little bit of fixing. Brakes, not so good. You really gotta go all the way in on the brakes. A lot of... Uh, Leeway, what's the word I'm looking for? Travel? Travel, I travel on the brakes. Um, most of the electronics in this thing actually function. The, the mirrors are all working, the, the, all the lights and all that, the, head, the headlights flip up. Uh, the majority of it does work. There's a cool accelerometer and a compass that don't work, so pretty much the most useless stuff. Um, <laughs> this is going to be, and is, in fact, as of three days ago my daily driver. Um, that is the goal of, of this ride. Um, I've, I've got rid of my other car, gave it away to someone for free, for no reason, just because I felt like it, out of the good of my heart, because it's Christmas. And uh, so we need to make this basically completely functional every single day. I've got to get to work, I've got to go work on the bus, so like I said, this is actually my daily driver. I'm, I'm loading tools into this thing, driving to the bus, working on it, and um, going to and from work, dropping, dropping people off, dropping the hose off left and right. I don't know where I'm going with any of this. <laughs> you said you were feeling it, dude. Just, just keep going. Say enough, you, you'll be fine. Just you need enough to be able to cut everything up. Yeah, it's all good. Today we're going to be doing a tune-up on this thing. Uh, hopefully we can resolve most of the problems I've been having. It is really sluggish at the moment. Uh, like I said, the starting, uh, seems to be kind of a problem and it seems to be dying at idle occasionally. Um, so, the things we're going over are, uh, let's see, we got belts, we got spark plugs, air filter, uh, fuel filter, what else we got over there? Distributor cap and distributor 
um, oil filter, and of course changing out all the fluids. And that's pretty much all of it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. All right, we on? Yeah. Cool. All right, two things. One, I'm wearing gloves because this car is not worth me getting dirty on. <laughs> I go out to dinner later. Well, you know, I, yeah, it's a date night with my wife. Two, I can't get this spark plug out. I couldn't get a, I couldn't get the socket on the plug, and I was like, that's super weird. So I looked at it, and it's gonna be really hard to see, but this engine, the uh, spark plugs are pointing straight down. So there's just a ton of like dirt and debris and nastiness on it. Like the actual plug itself, where the where you put the nut on it, is completely caked. So I'm gonna get in there with like a screwdriver and like a pick, and I'm gonna loosen all that stuff up, and I'm gonna try and maybe vacuum it out really quick so I can get an actual spark plug socket on it. So we're working on this thing for four minutes, and we've already run into a problem. <laughs> it's these Japanese cars, man, they're badly made. Oh my god. Now they're great. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, like I said already, I have a cool pick, just a long screwdriver, something pretty thin, whatever you got at home lying around, get in there and break all that nastiness up. But once you break up enough of it, try and get either a vacuum cleaner if you have, if you don't have an air compressor, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that in here and hit it with a bunch of air and try and get all that stuff to come up. I don't, what I don't want is all that stuff to fall into the hole I'm gonna create when I pull that spark plug out because that's gonna be just directly into my engine. I don't want that. Well, Taylor's engine, so at the end of the day, who cares? But we don't want that. <laughs> we'll blow all the dust out the best we can and do everything we can to keep that, to, to minimize how much is going into the engine. And yeah, let's get cracking on that, I guess. Dang, that's crazy. On there. There we go. Look how nasty and gooey that is. Wait for it. Okay. Yeah, look at all that grit. That's crazy. Yeah, she was road hard and put away wet. Is that vulgar? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's vulgar. That's pretty vulgar. That's vulgar as fuck. <laughs> Alrighty, so spark plugs are in more or less. Uh, yeah. Nick's on the last one. We got the air filter in. Um, what's the next plan, Nick? Retrieve that socket wrench from under the car. <laughs> now, the only one of these that's actually really difficult, um, it's not even really difficult. Um, it's the back one right back here. It's actually at an angle when you're coming this way. It's difficult if you're unwilling to take stuff apart, but if you remove the throttle bracket that holds it together, as well as two brackets that hold the wiring loom, you can move the whole thing over and come in at an angle. And it's pretty easy to get that way. That's the only real tip I have is to come in this direction and take off the throttle bracket um, just so you can move it freely like this and the loom can be moved freely. Be careful with the loom though. I mean this stuff is old and dried and brittle. You don't want to break any of these wires. You don't want to have to replace much of that stuff when all you're trying to do is the spark plug. So this is the last one. And there goes my flashlight. And we're good. I'm not gonna lie, I hit my elbow and I'm trying super hard not to be like, ow. <laughs> not to say cry. bad words, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> it really hurt. We won't cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, cry, you're crying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, there we go. Still got it out. Damn, that one is messed up. Also, that hurt. <laughs> All right, next up, fuel filter. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I thought this might be difficult to work on this car. So far, it's pretty easy. This bolt here is gonna do it. 
Yeah. It's gonna do it in for us. That's that's gonna be the problem right there. Yes. The fuel filter is what's gonna break us. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm going home. I'm going home. Yeah, I'm going home. home. That's it. <laughs> the fuel filter is just yeah. too much. <laughs> Stay in your garage tonight. I'm walking home. Oh man. Yeah, dude, get that on there. Nah, I will. I'm gonna use it. There's no tools. Just put it on. There's a circle. I really wanna try it. A circle. That's not gonna work. Who's who? This is the guy that owns and bought that tool. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, that's not gonna work. Man, you're so pissed. This works excellently. It's like I'm making it more difficult for myself. I know, cause you're clamping that down, so it's not gonna go anywhere. I don't know. Let's zoom in on the tool in question. <laughs> Are you zooming in on me? <laughs> no, that was a good idea. I should have done that. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, we managed to get all the spark plugs switched out. We changed the fuel filter. Uh, we changed out the um, distributor and cap and all that. Uh, and as you can see, hit a nick. Wait for it. is uh, about 100 times better than how I started before for a lot of, well, a lot of starting problems. So, um, yeah, that's that's 10 times better easily. Oh, man, and that it, was super it quick. It idles so much smoother, too. It idles smoother, yeah. It, it's, it, it's like 100 times better already. And we still have some stuff to do. We still got to change out uh, fluids. We got to do, uh, you know, oil change. Oil change cool, uh, throw some belts on it and do the coolant. But we'll make that another episode. Um, yeah, because I'm hungry. Because we're hungry, we're going to go eat some food. That's it for this episode, guys. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and like. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.